Okay guys, welcome back. A couple of updates uh, when it comes to my two future sound rooms. Let's talk about this here. This happens to be something that someone that I know and is within the industry recommended for me to do, specifically with my eight gauge power cables. These are for my outlets, okay? I was told that I need to put those cables, only those cables through this conduit. This is steel conduit, okay? And the goal is essentially to insert them right through this. We're gonna have to open up bigger holes, of course, because the conduit needs to go through the beams. This is going to help tremendously when it comes to lowering the noise, the interference. I was told the high frequencies are the most impressive improvement that you're gonna hear through this conduit. Meaning that sometimes there is some graininess that you hear when it comes to your top end. That's supposed to be the biggest improvement that we will see when I insert this eight gauge wire through this conduit. Now this is a steel conduit, okay? I was told specifically that's what we need and that's what we, that's what we bought. I don't wanna tell you the hit of what this is costing me because yes, everything is now starting to add up but we're gonna do it right. I don't plan to open up these walls anymore. I'm not planning on redoing this. I'm doing this one time. So I decided to call the electricians back, remove these wires from the beams, insert them through the conduit and do it all over again. So all this here is gonna get redone. This is going to be, this is actually the cable. Look at this, two gauge, two gauge copper. I want you to see this, this is not aluminum. Pure copper, this is two gauge, it's heavy as hell. It's about $1,700 for that spool. $1,700, think about that, just for that. And we needed it because we needed to relocate the panel that was here inside the storage unit, which we're gonna go to next. All right, let me show you my sub panels. These are my sub panels, they have arrived. Show you this, look, 200 amps. Two zero zero. These are Eaton panels, okay? And what makes these panels great? They're pure copper. Just to give you an idea, a regular panel that most construction sites use is all aluminum and typically the cost is approximately 170 to $200 max. Guess how much these are each? $800, four times the price. So I know that in the grand scheme of things, $800 doesn't sound like a lot of, a lot of money because obviously we think of our hi-fi system. We think of the price of these components that we normally display on this channel. But I was just putting it into perspective so you understand the quality of the panels that we're gonna be putting here in each room. This is another question that some of you guys have been asking me. They are, you guys are confused about the outlets that I'm gonna be using. These are the outlets for where the electronics will be. Meaning my DAC, my preamp, my stands, my audiophile grade stands will be here. And pretty soon, hopefully by the end of the day, let me show you really quick, follow me. Um, we see here, let me show you. That white truck right there, that guy is my internet guy. We're gonna try to th run a direct line from the main, ho main house here to the rooms so that I don't have any sort of like just Wi-Fi extenders. I don't wanna have any Wi-Fi extenders from the main home into that, those two rooms, okay? So we're running a long cable from one end of the house all the way inside where my two sound rooms will be. All right, so there's a lot of things going on, uh, but you know, I was not looking to shortchange myself. Another cool thing we're gonna do, which I'll show you right now, check out these lights right here. Beautiful lights, okay, that I bought off of Amazon. These lights will be all over the outside of the structure, the outside of my two listening rooms. So it's gonna have a nice feeling to it on the outside. They should be here today and those ran me about $3,000 for the lights. So $3,000 for 12 lights. 
Okay, so it's not just two lights, 12 lights. So we're gonna do something really special. All right, let's go into the other room, the storage room, so you can take a look at what has been happening over there. Okay, so walk with me and you can see we have just relocated right behind here, the electricity. This is, look at this, nicely done, wire, wire really nicely, okay? This is where we are going to have all of my lights. Every single light that will be inside those two rooms are connected here. So they're not going to be talking to, again, my sound system. Now let me show you around the back of the structure. All this wood here that we knocked out of uh, this structure is wood that will be waste, unfortunately, at this time. The air conditioning unit will be here. Expensive unit, again, very quiet AC system that, that I'm gonna have here. Um, and it's gonna be suspended so that it doesn't vibrate. All the grounding will be done here. I, I still need to get some specifications as far as what that will look like, but it's all gonna go here. And we are throwing from the street. It's official. It's official. We're having direct power for these sound rooms straight from the streets. So we are going to go here's where the meter will be. We're going to put the meter here. They're going to bury the line and it's going to be connected to the main one panel, sub panel, and from here to the second sub panel for the other room. Let me show you the work that this entails. So we are going to run a line all through under, underground. 36 inches is what I was told, more or less. Okay, so it's going to go all throughout here. It's going to run right here, 36 inches underground, inside of a conduit, all the way there underneath the driveway. And then I don't know if you get a chance to, you can zoom in on that pole between the trees. That's where we're going to tap into. That's where the connection will go. And the electric company should be working on this, hopefully within the next seven to 10 business days. So it's all going to get done properly. I'm happy to say that I never expected to have my own dedicated power. One of the biggest pros about this is that you can write it off as a business expense. So that's always great. Saves me money at the end of the year. And so we want to do that. But yeah, so a lot of cool things that are happening here in my lab and I expect to have this app and running. Hopefully I had a conversation with my contractor. He thinks we should be done right before Christmas. So that puts us at about six weeks out. If all goes well, of course, we're looking at about six weeks, but there is no way of knowing if it's going to go well, right? For now, I am just trying to work on everything, the, ele the electricity, uh, the cable. And then tomorrow I'm going to have the a home security company come out and assess the property. And we're going to do an all out assault with cameras everywhere on the property. So it's going to be well done. When I'm done next year and I finally tell you all come out, trust me, it's going to look impressive and expect nothing less from me. Thank you for your support. Please make sure you go to my website, jaysaudiolab.com for more used high-end audio. I have been shipping out a lot of Macintosh product, shipping out other products from other brands that I am also a dealer for. And so if you have any interest in a Strom Tank, Macintosh, and other high-end brands, check out my website, jaysaudiolab.com. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.